welcome to New Orleans. Thanks. Have you been around the city at all? Many times, yeah. Many times. Frequent Bourbon Street a few times. It's all good. That's what they usually do. Yeah. Have you had a hand grenade before? Absolutely. I think there's some contest going on tonight between our crew and Drake Mosin or something. I don't get involved. Mm -hmm. uh, just because the consequences in the morning are devastating. When you, whenever there's a, a contest, who can drink the most or something. So uh, I'll have a few for sure, but I want another contest. A few hand grenades? Yeah, yeah. That'll just kill you extra. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. So you're not leaving. Usually when people come, if they have a hectic schedule, they just leave in the morning after the show is done. You're staying the night, or are you just going to go there for a while? Well, we are staying the night, but at the same time, all our beds are right here on the bus, so, and you don't have to worry about driving, nothing's all good. You have to worry about the motion sickness when you're... Perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got a new album coming out, April 21st. Yep. How's that going to be? You gonna... I hope it's going to be awesome. Are you excited, or is it just another release? It's no, I'm definitely cool. excited. We look at each album as another chance to try again. Every album we put out, we think it's is the best, it's our best work, culmination of everything that we've been doing for all these years and everything, we put everything we got into it. And then, uh, so then that, that record will come out and uh, we tour on it and just see how far it can take us, how successful we can be, and then when that when that record's done, then we move on to the next one. Now we'll see how far this, this one can take us, maybe correct some mistakes from the past, things like that. So it's always what we feel is gonna be our, our biggest thing ever, but only time will tell how successful it'll actually be. What do you think's different about this album? that you're trying to make up. Well, perhaps I said that wrong. We're never trying to make up for anything. We each, each album is a different time period, different set of influences, different things going on in people's lives. We've been playing together for two years longer. You know, better players as individuals, things like that. But this one, there wasn't anything intentional that we tried to go for, but it is different because it's where our, our last one was, was pretty fast and aggressive. This one is, is just slower and heavy and not in a bad way. Uh, in any way, it's probably even more heavy because of the, the space that we allowed all the instruments to have to breathe and just be as heavy as possible. Which has got this like slower, chuggy, or draggy through the mud type of uh, type of feel that I think people are going to be uh, stoked on. I love that guy because in New Orleans, the thing here is sludge. Crowbar. Oh. Totally. Well, here we have a pretty big metal community. Actually, is it is it like that in Cleveland? Cleveland has been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, your promotion, I loved your promotion for this album. You told fans to take pictures of them putting up signs for your album, and when they did that, they would get a sample of the song, or a whole song, and some pictures of the band. Yeah. Who came up with that? Uh, I think it was a combination between our singer Mark and the label, just kind of brainstorming for a while. And it's cool because, you know, street teams came around in the early 2000s, but it was different because kids were on a payroll, they were getting paid to go hand out flyers after shows and stuff, where this are actually passionate fans that love the music that are doing it for free, or not for free, but for incentives, you know, clips of songs, maybe special meet and greets, things like that, but it's actually people that are that love the music that are out there spreading the word rather than somebody that's just expecting a paycheck, you know, to hand out a thousand flyers that night. So it's worked really well for us and the hype's been totally awesome, and uh, it's a great idea. Are you going to try to do this on other albums? Sure, I'm sure we'll expand it from there. We're constantly trying to take advantage of the internet and technology and all that has to offer because, you know, the saying, you can't beat it, join it. Mm -hmm. That was a good And just just like we did at the beginning, you know, you got to build your repertoire. And that's it. Do you feel you're closer to your fans now than you were when you were not as well known? Uh, I don't know, I suppose that's relevant. Uh, but there's. There's more of them now, so it's harder to be as close on an individual basis. But, uh, but certainly doing these things, I mean, we feel like we do a lot for the fans. Writing the music is the one thing we don't do for the fans. We do that for ourselves and hope that they like it, obviously. But uh, but everything else, like you know, giving away these song clips and uh, and private meet and greets and t special ticket giveaways for certain cities and just all the cool things we do with a special edition for our album, all the cool things you can get in that and everything like that. We try to do all that stuff for the fans so, so they know we're still down. You played the Dubai? Desert Rock Festival last month. Mm -hmm. What was that? Like? Crazy. Desert. Uh, first of all, just going to the Middle East is something that we're worried about as an American. You know, or at least we were. Uh, the long flight, everything like that. Uh, 
all the other things you hear about, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this, you've been thrown in jail for life for this, and tortured for this, uh, you know, just all these things are playing out of your mind for the media and all that. And, uh, but uh, it ended up being super cool. The people were way awesome. It was totally westernized. The food was great. Everything was laxed. Uh, we had a great time. Went on safaris. Drove in the sand dunes. Watched belly dancers. The show was awesome. 10,000 kids from all surrounding countries. They never get heavy metal over there until this annual festival. So everybody was stoked to see us. There was people with big Khmer banners from Iraq and stuff like that. And, uh, it was badass. So I don't know much about that area. It is a city and it's not actually a desert. Well, it's a country, Dubai's a country, part of the United Emirates, there's other ones around there, Abu Dhabi, all sorts of stuff. That's about the extent of my knowledge of it. But anyways, it's right on the Persian Gulf, and so it's just like, it's like being in Vegas, but on the water, and uh, yeah, it's in the middle of the desert, but so is Vegas, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's like that. That's great. Um, you've had a lot of lineup changes in the past. A lot, it seems like. Not necessarily. It may seem like that, but... It's been the same five guys since 2001, and then the same six guys, well, it's been the same six guys for two, since 2001. One guy took two years off, our drummer. And so in that two years, maybe it was three years, we had two different drummers coming that time. So yeah, it seems like a lot of lineup changes, but the five of us have been together for nine years, and the six of us have been together for seven or something like that. So it's a solid lineup. <laughs> yeah, totally. Andy, Andy left the band in 2003, late 2003, late 2004. Uh, just because he wasn't sure that it, this was for him. Went back to school, started working again, and then decided it was for him, and we gladly took him back because he's been our brother. We went to high school together, you know, just been friends for, I don't know, 12 years now, something like that. And so it was, it was really heartbreaking for him to leave, but he had to figure himself out. And now he's back, and everybody's full force, and gung-ho, and the family's back, and things are good for the That's great. How many songs from the new album can we expect to hear tonight? You can expect to hear two. So no, it's not a spinal tap thing, the drummers keep dying. No, no deaths yet, fortunately. Uh, nah. Do you prefer playing in small venues or very large venues at the Dubai Desert Rock Festival? Was made? They all have the pros and cons. When you're playing, it, it's like this. A small packed club is totally awesome, but a uh, huge not packed. Uh, like a festival show sucks, you know, so it's like you want to find the happy medium. It's great playing a big festival show where it's not as personal, but there's so many, there's 50,000 people there because you know that your business is getting a ton of advertising that day, to put it in a certain way. You know that there's that many extra people seeing you and you have that more chance to make that many more fans. But at the same time, it's cool being in the small clubs where it's all your fans that are there to see you, whether it's 800 kids or whatever like that and it's jam packed and the vibe's awesome because everybody's super excited and just being jammed in there. Uh, so that's totally cool too. They all have their, their pros and cons. Right. Is there anything else you would like to say? Uh, thanks to all the fans and Nola. And, uh,